I'd walk down the hall and get called faggot by some folks. Get rid of them! Get rid of them! Right. A friend of mine says, you know, Michael, you weren't the first homosexual PNG, but you sure did put a public face to it in the 80s. Oh boy, Cincinnati in the 80s. It was kind of a, a risky thing being known as gay then. AIDS has struck 1,640. You had a lifespan of six months, maybe 18 months if you were lucky. There weren't effective remedies then. Procter & Gamble really found this niche with Paradex prescription mouthwash being used by people with AIDS. There was this disconnect. PNG wanted to do the science, they wanted to do the marketing, but they didn't quite get, because they weren't gay, that these are people's lives. Things were not good for the LGBT community in PNG. The words sexual orientation were not in the EEO policy statement. You know, where are the gays? Where are the lesbians? The words needed to be there. They were not ready to embrace that. They were not wanting to embrace it. In no way was Michael going to back away. I just kept at it. He was willing to put it on the line. He was willing to be an outlier. It's either going to take you or you're going to take it. And I had made up my mind. Policies do matter. Taking a stand matters. Words matter. It's important to understand the struggle because the truth is we're always in the struggle. <laughs>